How do you think Turkey's, oh, Turkey, guys, it's not Turkey anymore, it's Turkey. How, how do you think Turkey's government response to earthquake will impact Erdogan's chances in elections? Seems to be negative. Was corruption and lack of building regulations the reason why death tolls were higher than expected? Well, that's what Turkish people seem to be suggesting. So, I mean. I don't know that we've had a super full investigation just yet, you know, for obvious reasons, right? There's a lot of a lot of cleanup yeah. and rescue that's still going on. So, I mean, Erdogan just came out and apologized. So that was that's a good. that's yeah it's 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 the apology is good but it's also a major admission of guilt and yeah. lack of response. There people have been left alone for so long. Like I know people like devastated people have been like reports coming that I I've been left in the cold. My family has died. I don't have anything, and I haven't seen a single official, yeah, a government official for I don't know how this many days. You know. Yeah. So people are like, what the hell? Um, yeah. And yet it, there seem to have been a lot of, it's not just that the building regulations have caused a lot of these buildings to fall. It's also that there were constant warnings about this, that mm-hmm. they were not taken seriously. Mm-hmm. So yeah, this could, this could be very bad for, this could be, uh, they tried to delay the elections uh, because they just don't have the, they were arguing that guys we can't have an election at the middle of all this chaos some people are suggesting that maybe the reason why they wanted to delay the election was because people are so upset that Erdogan's you know is not going to get Erdogan's is like we need to delay this or else I'm not going to get reelected yeah but but apparently they can't delay it and they might even have it earlier now because the constitution or something only allows Mm. I, I think that specific heard, reasons or some yeah like okay. war or something is yeah, not yeah, earthquake yeah. is not one of them so they yeah. could not delay it well so. these these types of these types of really big you know natural disasters and stuff always have a shift when it comes to the elections in any country and a lot of that has to do with you know how much of the bad things that happened were actually consequences from the officials not doing things correctly or doing things purposefully poorly in the past. But one of the biggest things that matters is how the situation is handled, how the situation Mm -hmm. is dealt with, right? Because that's what everybody talks about. Everybody talks about how George W. Bush didn't do the right thing with Katrina, right? And that's, that's what people will, will know. And so, yeah, if, if, if the government does a real crap job, like it seems like they're kind of already doing, um, then yeah, I think you probably will see a big shift. And personally, I'm I'm in favor of that. I mean, I I would like yeah. I would like other people in power in Turkey. That would be very good for the world. So. Oh my God, a pro-Euro government in <laughs> Turkey. <laughs> we can dream, Armin. Hang on, don't don't get too high in the sky. But like uh, a successful revolution in iran uh, a pro-eu turkey like a like a non-putin controlled russia like what a ugh. one day one day these yeah. dreams ugh. yeah a pro-euro government would also lift the economy in turkey enough maybe hopefully for it to be able to um help you know a better economy might be one thing that we need for to mm-hmm. restoring people's lives in turkey right yeah. after the earthquake and stuff but anyway, i was like praying like this and then i realized i need to pray like this <laughs> that's it that's Iblis. <laughs> is that, uh, yeah the devil how do you like is this prayer to god you know mm-hmm. the, the prayer to the devil be like mm, i think you like have to this? do it upside down like you have to hang from your ankles <laughs> and then like <laughs> uh, no i'm gonna make this a thing i've never seen anybody do this like we should make this a thing like prayer to the devil. Oh, it's, and, and like, like instead of instead of uh, kneeling and putting your forehead to the to the ground, you'd have to like constantly get up from a squatting position. And like just do everything opposite. Just, <laughs> I like it. All right, we'll work on it. Colt, work on that. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary. Japanese gods, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.